from here we are now grinding slowly up these longs will get liquidated only if we can hold this we're going to get continuation the most important thing is that we are staying above the ema ribbon bitcoin is ready to enter the next stage and will go so much higher i will show you the exact point from where we can expect bitcoin finally moving here into the sixty thousand dollar range and also what will happen to altcoins of course let's go guys thank you so much for tuning in here once again let's jump directly into the dxy chart so dxy chart is again here dancing around with the underlying support zone i still believe that especially with the upcoming rate cut that we will finally break here the 100 point mark at the latest by the rate cut and from there bitcoin will be trading around between 62 and 64 thousand dollars and that will be one of the big big signals that i'm waiting for to confirm that bitcoin has actually entered the next stage of this market so what am i actually talking about i'm talking about the wall street cheat sheet because bitcoin was previously here in the optimism phase and you see in the optimism phase we have here one big shakeout to the downside and we got this big shakeout to what was it forty nine thousand dollars and from there we came slightly back up here got another smaller shakeout that was to 52 and now we are ready to get here the pumponomics of this bull run uh, going you can also clearly see this here on my three day chart uh, that we have now left the optimism stage here that was the low point forty nine thousand uh, and forty dollars and from here we are now grinding slowly up and you see here also by the third of october um based on this fractal we should be moving much much higher i believe actually that this will happen much earlier like i said we are now here around the fifty-eight thousand dollar mark by next week i will expect that we are around 63 64 so normally i need to move this over kind of like here it makes more sense stage so expect here by next week that we will be trading around the $64,000 area um, based with the rate cut. Now, when we're going into the higher time frames here on the weekly chart, not much has changed. We are still fighting here with that um, SR zone, <clears throat> that uh, previously resistance zone that turned into support and then again into resistance. Again, once we are reclaiming here the 21 moving average and the $60,000 mark on the weekly chart, we know, okay, um, all lights are green and we are ready to go here um, to the upside and will um, break pretty pretty soon into the seventy thousand dollar range when we're going then into the 12 hourly chart and here we see a little bit of uh, weakness starting to creep into the chart for once we are based on the mdx algo here at the um, at the point of control on the vpvr at fifty seven thousand eight hundred dollars um, that's why uh, we are not falling through here currently because right now the bulls are controlling this but if we lose that level and we go a little bit lower um, then of course this will turn again into resistance currently it is giving us support here we just open a new 12 hourly candle and i believe there is in the next 12 hours coming a push into sixty thousand dollars and i'm going to show you here in a moment why i actually believe that when we look at the indicators here you can also more or less see based on stochastic rsi and also on the macd that we are potentially here in the final push um, on the 12 hourly chart before we get either a sideways move or a slight correction back to the downside but in any case let's say we go to sixty thousand dollars here uh, once we are turning around don't expect that we break here under fifty seven thousand four hundred dollars in the worst case uh, we will come down here to retest this as support bounce from there and then continue to go um, back into the higher levels here and why do i believe that on the 12 hourly chart there's still enough juice left to get that one more leg to the upside because the errors i did not turn around here yet so we are still slightly going up and also here see a small pinch still uh, going um, to the upside and pointing to the upside here on the uh, on this 12 hourly chart you see another reason struggling to go a little bit higher again i told you the vpvr is sitting here here is a big volume traded area uh, that bitcoin is fighting with plus that we are in the mid-range of the ema ribbon um, and only if we can hold this we're gonna get continuation uh, to the upside so really really important what's happening here in the next 12 hours that candle close uh, on the eight hourly chart uh, we have broken above the ema ribbon 
uh, if you would have taken the trade here from $56,900, as I said, you would be still here in a nice 2% uh, profit roughly. Uh, again, I'm not expecting that we break out here and straight continue to go to the upside. This doesn't make really sense to me. And it would be also prematurely, as I mentioned uh, previously. So, but I might adjust here. So this is still absolutely uh, fine in terms of breakout. So I just moved it a little bit more to the left by a day or two. So if we are by next week with the rate cut somewhere close to that green zone, like pretty close somewhere here, and we would get a breakout from here, and do something like this, this is absolutely fine. The most important thing here on the eight hourly chart is that we are staying above the EMA ribbon. Uh, we can of course come back into it to retest it. Like I said, $57,400 is fine. Uh, as long as we are bouncing off uh, that range and reclaiming the EMA ribbon and continue to either chop sideways up or get a nice spike here to the upside. But most likely uh, we will see here uh, potentially today, small spike to the upside. And I will show you here in a second exactly why I do believe this is going to happen. Um, but first, I want to give you a warning sign. A warning sign, a big warning sign will be when we are getting the spike here on CoinGlass, when we get the spike here into this resistance, so you can clearly see here kinda is a resistance. That will also spike the open interest to the upside. So more leverage, more people take longs. And remember, when we get into this blue zone here, usually leverage gets flushed to the downside. That was now since October last year, every single time um, the case. And I don't think this time will be any different. So once we're getting here spike into the top range of that blue zone here, expect leverage gets flushed. What is going to happen when leverage gets flushed? We're going to see... Bitcoin going to the downside because all, mostly longs have built up here uh, recently. So expect that then these longs will get liquidated. Hence why we are going to see a price correcting to the downside. Of course, not to 52. This is a little bit um, over dramatic, I would say. But like I said, uh, $57,400 makes a lot of sense um, to retest this as support and then get the continuation to the upside. And guys, really, really, really important. If you want to understand how I'm able to navigate in these markets and how I actually turned my last $5,000 six years ago into seven figures, then you have to watch this video that I've only created for you guys. You will get access to this by just giving me your full name, your email and your phone number. And straight away afterwards, you're gonna get uh, the course and my blueprint how I did this in the past to go from $5,000 to eight, nine figures. No strings attached, no costs attached. It's absolutely for free, guys. And if you want to do this, go here below my video and just click here on this link. And there you will get my blueprint, how I went technically from zero to seven figures. That's all that you have to do. Click here on this link in the description and in the pin con below of this video, guys. Also here, $59,000 is already a massive resistance here on the lower time frames because it's in alignment with the 200 moving average currently. And you see here, we tried to get close yesterday, got immediately rejected, and since then consolidate slightly below this. So I still believe there is enough gas in the tank for Bitcoin to come up here to step through this slightly, but then gets rejected and we will come back down to the 50, uh, no, not to the 50 moving average. We will come back down here to these um, high leverage long positions to flush them out and then push sideways over the weekend until the rate cut and then continue to go to the upside. Because remember guys, liquidity is still to the upside. Most of the liquidity is sitting here to the upside and you're gonna see here another reason why we are most likely going up first before we go down. Because here, just above us, is five, even more. Here is almost a billion dollars worth of liquidity, around $58,800, $700. Uh, and we are really, really close to tap into this. Once we are tapping into this, expect a short squeeze um, to the upside, like I said, into the $60,000 range. Then we have taken out quite a bit of liquidity on the way to the upside. And from there, we will then fall back down here into um, to this level and then chop 
sideways for quite a, uh, quite a while un until we get the rate cut. So that's um, that's what's most likely going to happen here over the next couple of days when we're looking at Bitcoin. And also here on this four hourly chart with the MDX algo uh, scalp gradient and the super trend, we are here right now in a small supply zone um, that is, of course, acting as resistance. Um, the super trend is sitting at $57,050. So even if we come a little bit lower in, it's absolutely fine. You see here, first warning signs. I told you this yesterday. We get potentially next uh, in the next couple of days here, warning sign. Here is um, a, a bearish divergence. That's why we get here this reversal indication. Um, this doesn't have to play out immediately. Sometimes we get this and the price still continues to go higher here. So, But I think also here, like here on this side, a small dip turning around continuation to the upside before we get then here, like over here, a bigger consolidation phase again in this region before we get then further continuation direction of $72,000. Uh, guys, don't forget uh, when we are talking now about altcoins, uh, get everything what you can for free from these exchanges. Rob them blind. Go to Bybit. And deposit $100 and claim your free $500 airdrop position. Any of these coins that you can trade here um, on their platform. So make use of that while you can. Use the link in the description below and in the pin com below. And again, guys, I'm going to show you setups where you can turn these $5,000 into $10,000, $16,000. So make use of that because this is running out in less than uh, six days, guys. So actually five and a half days. Less than five and a half days are left to take advantage of that. When we're looking at funding rates, while we're talking about uh, trading coins on leverage, um, you see here over the last three months, nothing really has happened. The, um, the whole funding rate heat map is completely cooled down. Look here, I went all the way down to 50% or more APR and nothing. If I go here higher, it's even worse. So look here, we are completely, completely um, cooled down here in terms of leverage. And this is what we want to see to build positions because when we're going here now into Ethereum, of course, Ethereum is struggling um, to break it, this big VPVR cluster. But I think next week, we're gonna see some crazy fireworks to rate cut where we just smash through this straight away, potentially in one candle. It, that is not something that we have never seen before. Um, with Ethereum happening, then we get a candle like this because the rate cut has the potential to to actually push Ethereum to that uh, kind of move. Until then, I still believe that Ethereum will break it a downward sloping trend line and that will be your last chance to get a really, really good entry here. So I would technically enter already now on low leverage, guys. Don't go crazy. Maximum 8x is something that I, that I would use. Once we break above that trend line and retest this as support, you can crank it up a little bit to like 10, 12, 15, but not more than that. And then you can trade this into the $3,000 mark here uh, to the upside. Here on the 12, uh, on the four hourly chart, you see um, that we definitely have here still more room to go to the upside. Also on the indicator side here with the stochastic bouncing off the signal line here with the trend line and the RSI also slowly creeping to the upside, being in bullish territory above 52%. One of the coins, that you should start paying uh, paying attention to massively, massively right now is AVAX because also AVAX is running here into this downward sloping resistance line and this horizontal level um, at the same time, which marks our entry level. The stochastic is about to print here a buy signal if we push a little bit higher. The MACD is bullish, the RSI is bullish. Again, I um, disregard then the stochastic RSI and look at the price action. Once we're breaking through this, um, 24... $24.80 level, you're going to see a nice push to the upside. So why do I believe that this is going to happen today? Because when I go to the 4-hourly chart, we're about, with the current 4-hourly candle, um, to get on the MACD a buy signal, the RSI is going up, the, RSI, uh, the stochastic RSI is going up, and we are 3.5% away to, to push here above $24.81. So not that much, you know, so we are not that far away from this. Uh, and it and it can happen today, guys. It can happen happen today. So you want to make sure that um, you have set your alarms and are ready for that break when, when it's happening. The same uh, with Dogecoin. Dogecoin is uh, testing right now the downward sloping trend line. It's a little bit ahead of the curve when it comes to AVAX. We are uh, getting here 
currently um, a little bit resistance, first of all, of that red supply zone. Uh, on the MDX algo and also the 50 moving average at the same time plus the downward sloping resistance line. But trust me, if we can manage to close at 10 cents, 6, 10 cents, 7, we are above and we'll get continuation. Also here on the 4 hourly chart, you're going to see we have um, in terms of MACD and uh, RSI enough momentum to continue to go here higher. And also the 50 and the 200 moving average are so close to print a golden cross here um, for Dogecoin. Uh, so also here, I would get ready to enter my position because uh, the juicy returns that I have shown you yesterday here already of 91% are, uh, yeah, coming around here pretty soon. What I wanted to talk about quick, a new partner that I have, and that is Tepid, guys. Tepid is one of the new exchanges uh, that I'm currently working with. That is one of the platforms that I'm uh, going to use here uh, going forward. Use the link in the description below, guys. Uh, there is a link and you also get $10, uh, as far as I know, just for signing up there. Uh, so make use of that. Again, everything what is for free, what exchanges are throwing around is what you want to get um, pocket um yeah, to put in your own pocket. Now, Coty. Uh, Coty is currently getting rejected from the neckline of the W pattern. Not really surprising. It can happen that we consolidate a little bit around this before we get the break. That doesn't invalidate the W pattern um, because the W pattern itself is completed. We just need to reclaim here 10 cents. And once that is done, we're going to see here a nice pump to the upside. So that's what I'm waiting for. If you are looking for a better entry, you might get lucky. You might get lucky and we come back to like 9 cents 0.5. If we come uh, to that level, enter from there. Otherwise, wait for the break of the 10 cent uh, level. Also here on the lower time frames, when I go to the four hourly chart, you see here the stochastic RSI is about to bottoming out. See here a lot of take profit points um, uh, popped up here on the MDX algo gradient. Hence why I believe that we have here potentially a smaller pullback into 9 cents 0.5 before we get continuation uh, into higher levels, uh, hence um, why I would enter from there. And now on uh, Phantom, also we are consolidating here in the bull flag. If I go into a lower time frame, you're gonna see it. Uh, and have printed here already a golden cross, which is a good sign. Uh, actually, uh, yes, so this is a bull flag, a small one. So if you're waiting for to enter Phantom, there are two ways how you can do that. You either enter at a retest here of this downward sloping trend line at 46 cents, or you do it at the break of 49 cents when we are um, breaking out of that bull flag here. And you see the target is almost 65 cents here to the upside, uh, which is roughly um, a 40% move. Yeah, 45% from that level. But from here, a 33% move uh, from the breakout of the bull flag, which is still fine. 33%, so if you trade it then to 75 cents, um, that should give you around 50% more or less uh, here to the upside. Also here, uh, Stochastic is already showing signs that it wants to turn around here. Give this maybe eight to 12 hours and it will turn around. So either way, retest of the downward sloping trend line or break of the bull flag where you want to enter this. Next one is uh, Telegram. Telegram is for quite a while here now consolidating around the $5.58 and uh, $5.60 mark. I think that this is a healthy consolidation. And once we are uh, seeing here a proper break of this small downward sloping trend line here on the four hourly chart, a break above $5.57, you're gonna see a nice pop here into the 200 moving average at $5.77 and potentially into the golden ratio here of $6.14. And I want to warn you guys, Telegram has in 13 days a big, big announcement. Hamster Combat will go live on Telegram, which is right now one of the biggest um, tap gaming. I think it's it's tap game. I'm not into this stuff that much. But I know Hamster Combat has one of the fastest growing communities right now on Telegram. And people will trade and play Hamster Combat then on the Telegram network. And that means they need to pay for fees with ton. So what's going to happen? We saw this with Solana with meme coins when a, when a whole DGEN community is on one specific network, the price goes up 
of that coin that is attached to the network. So here it's Telegram. I'm telling you in the next 14 days, Telegram will be above $7 because of hamster combat. Call me crazy, but let's come back in 14 days and let's see where the price of Telegram is. But I believe it will be above the $7 mark. So, and that's why you should also position yourself and get in here at $5.57. Because also here we are starting to turn around to print really, really soon a golden cross at this pace of the price it will happen uh, by next week Thursday so in the next five six days then rune also consolidating here for quite a while uh, below four dollars already also here I see momentum shifting uh, going back to the upside also here we got a fake out of a death cross so you see here uh, the 50 is already turning around to go to the upside. This will happen by tomorrow after tomorrow, that golden cross. And that should uh, bring us above $4.20. So also currently a good moment to enter um, while we are above the 50 moving average. Use here $3.62, which is slightly below the um, 50 moving average as your stop loss. So this is uh, a 4% stop loss more or less, So which, is, uh, which should be fine. Um, of course, not crazy leverage, guys. Uh, don't don't forget. Uni Uni broke out as expected here from six dollar fifty. If you would have been in here, you would be up right now uh, six dollar fifty uh, six percent roughly. It's still not too late to enter this. I would enter this not right now, even though everything looks bullish here. I would only enter this if Bitcoin gets the spike that I that, that I spoke about, and we would move above the seven dollar mark. So if we move above $7, I would enter this because then we will most likely get a squeeze here into $8.15 really quickly. Uh, but otherwise, I would wait because the stochastic is pretty high and overbought. And, he, and now also the MACD is losing momentum a little bit. So I would be a little bit careful. It could be that we get a small flush here back to $6.30 um, before we get then continuation to the upside. So I will put some limit orders around the $6.30 level just in case. Uh, there will also be a small fake out below the 50 moving average, but I think we come straight back up above at least the 50 moving average and will then continue in direction of the 200 moving average. And also here print by the end of the month, early next month, um, that golden cross that will bring us back above the $10 mark. And that's already everything for today's guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you with more money tomorrow.